Yes, honey. Not money, honey. I love this story of the dog. We are all mirrors to each other. Muhammad said this, Mirat al-Mu'min, mirrors to the people that we have faith, we have trust. Once a dog ran into a museum where all the walls, the ceiling, the door, and even the floor was made of mirrors. And everywhere he goes, he sees dogs, 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 dogs. Seeing this, the dog froze in surprise in the middle of the hall, and a whole pack of dogs surrounded it from all sides, from above and below. When the dog bared his teeth, all the reflections responded <laughs> to the same way, frightened, the dog felt that he barked. The reflections imitated the bark and increased it in many times. Everybody is barking on me. Everybody wants to kill me. Everybody wants to eat me. The dog barked even harder, and the echo was keeping up, keeping up. The dog tossed from one side to another, biting there, this and this, biting this and biting this. His reflections also tossed around, snapping their teeth. Next morning, the museum's security guard found the miserable dog lifeless and surrounded by millions of reflections of lifeless dogs. There was nobody else in the museum who meant any harm to the dog. The dog died fighting his own reflections. It's so beautiful, what a story. What is the moral? The world doesn't bring good or evil on its own. Everything that is happening around us is the reflection of our own thoughts, feelings, wishes, and actions. The world is a big mirror. Strike a good pose. A thought is a destiny. We are what we're thinking. It becomes our habits. It becomes our reflections. It becomes our character. So what is your desire? What is your destiny? Be aware of your thought. And you are sharing it with yourself. Let a small candle. It's better than talking on the darkness. A small light will lit a bigger, bigger, bigger darkness. So be the light unto yourself. This is why you are here. This is why we are together. This is why we have this beautiful page of sage.